What do you say there for Roscoe? Welcome to the Floyd Radio Show. My name is Paul Brown. Yours probably isn't, although there are a lot of us. I'll tell you what, just try it in the phone book sometime and see how many there are. But anyway, we want to uh, say that we are super happy to be here. We are the Piedmont Pals, and right to left or left to right, depending on where you are, right here in our little Floyd Country store or on the radio, we have Mr. Wesley Clifton with the big guitar. Please make him welcome a very frequent Floyd Radio Show performer and the prettiest country boy of them all right here in the band, Ms. Terry McMurray. Please make her welcome. She is a true Piedmont pal and a great claw hammer banjo picker and an absolutely wonderful youth player as well. You're going to find out all about these things. Guitar as well. Over to my other side here, the gentleman with that silver hair. Looks like he came straight out of a movie set with a smile to match. There he is. <laughs> That's right, 89 years young, Wes's grandpa, Mr. Verlin Clifton. Please make him welcome. That's right, from Surrey County, North Carolina. Some people call it Surrey County, don't they, Verlin? But we call it Surrey County. So come on down and visit us sometime. Some people call it Round Peak. That's right, that's where he was raised, in Round Peak. He's the, one of the last of the old Round Peak musicians. So give him another round of applause just for that. And holding up the bottom of the band right here, the man with the string bean appearance and the big bass voice on his bass fiddle. That's right. And the big smile that goes from here to Tennessee. Please make welcome Mr. Joe DeJarnett, engineer par excellence as well. We got a lot of great music coming your way, and we also will be hearing from uh, Adam McPeak and, and, and the Mountain Thunder coming up real soon in the second little bit of the bit here. And it might be worth mentioning that your amiable host for this show this evening. Um, we often refer to him as the mouth of the South, Mr. Paul Brown. Please make him welcome. We have a little love song for you. You want to hear a love song, everybody? What about Katie Klein, Berlin? What do you think? <laughs>
if I was a little bird, a little bird, I'd never build my nest on the ground. I'd build my nest in a white oak tree where the bad boys could never tear it down. Say, do you love me, Katie Klein, Katie Klein? Say, do you love me, Katie Klein? Say, do you love me, my sweet little girl? Say, do you love me, Katie Klein? So here we are with a little country yeah, baptizing. Yeah. I think you and, uh, swap Wes is going to do a little lead singing for us here. And we all used to play this years ago. That was ago. the choreographed part of the yeah. set. <laughs> when uh, Verlin and I used to play with Benton Flippin, one of the greatest fiddlers in the South, and he was really a wonderful guy. We miss him every day. We used to sing this song a lot, Verlin and Paul Sutphin and Frank Bodie, and we all played it in the Smoky Valley Boys years ago. So we like to keep this song out there.
change up instruments here and grab the big banjo and play a little bit of Little Maggie for you. All right, now this banjo is weighs seven pounds more than I do. <laughs> so it's I just true. want you to understand this. I play this one when I don't want to fly away. So, but we like it. And uh, this banjo has been around Mount Airy, North Carolina for a long time. Verlin had it for a while, Frank had it for a while, and now it's come to me. So I'll never sell it, but it really keeps you anchored. Let me put it that way. How are we doing there, Wes? Pretty good. This song was a hit back around 1913. It wasn't too long ago, was it? Oh, yonder stayed little Maggie with her grandlands in her hand. Driving him to distraction. That's what it is. Verlin, come on over here. We need to get you close to your microphone here so you and I can have a little chat about the olden times. Olden times. Yeah, the olden times. Verlin was born in 1928. We'd like you to know that was the same year as the A model Ford came out. And Ver so Verlin says that was a darn good model year. He and the A model Ford. That's the same year as George Washington was born. Same day. February the 22nd. <laughs> yeah, don't don't date yourself too badly. I forgot, I forgot the day, but yeah. he was born a couple of hundred years before I was. <laughs> so, uh, Furlan, uh, you know that you were in the K 
Camp Creek Boys and the Smoky Valley Boys, the Toast String Stretchers, the Blue Ridge Entertainers, any other, any other bands that had names? Jeff <laughs> Collins of the Blue Ridge Entertainers. Jeff Collins, yeah, Jeff Collins, yep. Yeah. And uh, about 15 more, but I can't think of them. Yeah, they go, <laughs> they go way back, back when. Yeah. So tell us a little about what, uh, what was, what the music was like in Surrey County, and like when you were coming up in the 30s. You were born in the late 20s and 30s and early 40s when you were like a teenager, and some of these really good old time fiddlers were already adults. You were one of the young. Pipsqueaks back when then. When I was a teenager, a small, young teenager, we didn't have electricity where we lived. We had a battery radio. And with uh, that old battery radio would get to where it wouldn't play, and a lot of you people may be old enough to remember this, but the old radio would get to where it wouldn't play, so we'd go out and pour some water around the ground and wire, and it'd bring that thing in. Well, some of my neighbors, I was just a young fella, but there's a lot of my neighbors, they all just, they, they did, what they did for entertaining was play the instruments. So they'd, they'd invite me to their house they'd, while they was playing, and that's how I learned what little I knew to start with, playing old time music. And uh, I played with I don't know how many bands since, but I've played with a lot of bands. Now, in the, in the 60s, when some of the folks started to come in from outside the community, some of the folklorists and the people who were enthusiastic about music, they recorded one of your best bands, the Camp Creek Boys. Yeah. And that record <clears throat> went far and wide. A lot of people still look back at the Camp Creek Boys as like the gold standard of an old-time well, string band. But how, did you, how were you thinking about it then? I wasn't thinking, I was just playing music. See, there you go. Uh, but the, the Camp Creek Boys, the first record we made, it went worldwide. I mean, it's played all over the world. And uh, Came out in 1967, get, you can still get it right next door. We get... Right here, maybe. Every once in a while we get some, somebody communicate with us that they, they got our record. And... Uh, Makes you feel kind of proud, but back when we made the old record, we didn't think anything about it. But when you listen at it now, it deserves recognition. It's old. It had a, had a lot of the old time music on it. What what some of you here used to square to X by? Well, we Verlin, we'll uh, we're gonna. In February, we'll celebrate your 90th birthday, and uh, I hope we have a lot of music on February 22nd, 2018. Me too. And uh, <laughs> it's been a pleasure to hear you tell just a little bit of a slice of your story, and there's well, a whole lot more, I'll tell you what. And uh, it's just great to listen to what it was like back in those days. And well, that's, that's just, I played with a, a, lot of, a lot of different bands, a lot of them. Maybe just two or three to get together and call herself a band, but I'd play with them, you know. And but I have no idea how many different ones I played with. Yeah. But I, I, I even played on the radio. Yeah. yeah. He, Verlin pl was played on WPAQ out of Mount Airy from the very first days of the station in '48 all the way up to yeah. today. Yeah. We used to go over there a lot of Saturdays. That, it was on Groundhog's Day. 1948, yeah. they went on the air. So anyway, it's been a thrill over the last 35 or 40 years to know Verlin and to play and watch him play and listen to his rhythm and sort of catch on to it as a banjo and fiddle player and with him and Benton Flippin and Tommy Jarrell. It, it was just been a tremendous experience for all of us. And I know that Wes coming along here as a grandson is fully aware of how great this tradition is because he's just right in there on these old time songs yeah. and tunes. He's a great bluegrass player as well and a rock musician as well, but man, he can just nail it on this old time music. So, I appreciate that. So, I, learned, I, I always say I learned everything I know from that man over there and I hope that don't reflect too poorly on him. <laughs> Let's have a little Cripple Creek. What do you Is say? Is that all you know? <laughs> <laughs> little Cripple Creek. Yeah. Play a little Cripple Creek. Play it in G, Berlin. Okay. Go down a key tonight. Let me find G.
Thank you, Berlin Clifton, Wes Clifton, Terry. The Piedmont Pals, a little bit of Durham's Bull right there, and that used to be a bluegrass showcase tune, you know. They'd play it just as fancy as they could with all the notes they could fit in and 20 more, remember? Well, one of my fiddle mentors, one of my most favorite fiddle players when I was coming up, just we told you earlier in the show, Mr. Benton Flippin, he had this remarkable device in his head. It was called the Flippin Tune Optimizer. He would take out all the unnecessary notes of a tune, keep all the bones in the style, and come out a lot of the time with a tune that was better than the original. I used to have friends when they'd hear him play an old Arthur Smith tune say, yeah, I think Benton plays that better than Arthur did. 
and Arthur made it up. So that's, that was his version of the Durham's Bull that I learned from, and I'll never play it any other way, probably because I just think it's so pretty where the Durham's Bull that they play in the contest a lot of the time, I don't think it's quite as pretty. So three cheers to the late Mr. Benton Flippin. And the amazing thing is he used to use just two fingers most of the time to play his fiddle on the left hand. And it was the most unbelievable thing to see. How he got around to all the notes, no one ever quite understood. But it was amazing to see one finger passing the other one like a, two cars on a highway while he was getting it done. One time I went over to his house for a fiddle lesson, and he was showing me June apple on the fiddle, you know. And uh, so he said, uh, here, you play along with me. I'll play the tune, you play along with me. And, and, and so we started to play the tune. And about after the first verse and a half, he just stopped and started laughing. He says, uh, he says, I can't make out what you're doing with all them little fingers. <laughs> I was using all four. I said, I tell you what, Benton, just you don't look. You turn a little bit and play the tune, and I'll play, and then I'll watch you play, but you just play the tune. That's how that went. That was how a fiddle lesson was at Benton Flippin's house. So now what's next? I think we have a gospel number we coming do. up here, don't we? You're actually going to have to slide over. Oh, I'm going to have to make the move. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It's the choreography again. What is yes. this one in D? Rainbow Slam. Yeah. You want to say anything about maybe? Yeah. Yeah, now this is one we used to play a lot with uh, Tommy Gerald used to play it, and the Carter family used to play it way back, and a lot of people learned it from them. And Tommy Gerald, a great fiddle player from Mount Airy, North Carolina, Uncle Tommy, he used to play it with us all the time. And, uh, and then when we got going with the Toast String Stretchers, Terry and me and Verlin, and Frank Bodie, who just recently passed away, and Frank's wife, uh, Ginger, we played for about 25 or 30 years together, and uh, we played this a lot. So we're going to send this out to old Frank. He's up at the big fiddler's convention in the sky right now, and the big gospel thing in the sky. So we hope he gets to hear this one. Frank, we're coming at you, buddy. With a little bit of, what's this one called? I gave no other yeah, rainbow I sign. Yeah, I gave no other rainbow sign. God gave no other rainbow sign, don't you see? God gave no other rainbow sign, no more water but the fire next time. I'd be your rock of ages, cliff for me. Don't you see? Poor old Lazarus, poor as I. When he died, he had a home on high. I'd be your rock of ages, cliff for me. East and west, the fire will roll. Don't you see? East and west the fire will roll, don't you see? East and west the fire will roll, Lord have mercy on my poor soul. I'd be your rock of ages, clip for me. Honey in that rock for me. Oh, there's honey in that rock way beyond the mountain top. I'd be your rock of ages, left for me. God gave no other rainbow sign, don't you see? God gave no other rainbow sign, no more water but the fire next time. I'd be your rock of ages, clip for me.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're just knocking out the old hits from the mountains here. We played these tunes a long time, and you just keep learning them a little better every year, don't you, Verlin? Oh, thanks, Bob. <laughs> you know, they asked, what was it, Pablo Casals, the great cellist, you know, one time, he's about 90 years old, he was doing a newspaper interview, and the reporter said, Mr. Casals, why do you, you're 90 years old, why do you practice six hours a day still and all that stuff? And he said, uh, he gave the most wonderful simple answer, he said, well, I, I think I'm making progress. <laughs> We're going to sing you a little Cotton Eye Joe with another tune we really enjoy together. Let's try that again. <laughs>
Thank you all. The Piedmont House. Sunshine, my happiness too. Happiness take my pride, too. take my money, Lord. I give it all to you. You can keep on telling lies, but we both know the truth. Honey, I got news for you. My future's getting brighter every minute of the day. By tomorrow, you'll be gone, and I'll be happy on my way. Funny how quickly your memory fades. Give me back my yesterday. Oh, get back All my sunshine, my happiness too happiness Take my pride, too. take my money, Lord I give it all to you You can keep on telling lies But we both know the truth Honey, I got news for you My future's getting brighter Every minute of the day By tomorrow you'll be gone And I'll be happy on my way Funny how quickly your memory fades Give me back my New tune for you. That one there is called Taking Back My Yesterday. That's a brand new one that we're going to be recording very shortly. Uh, we're so happy to be back here in Floyd. How is everybody? Good. It's one of our favorite places to play. It always feels like a hometown show for us, so thank you for coming out this evening. And it is a hometown show for one of us here. Now that's right. New home. Hey, this is Andrew Small back here. Make the hometown boy welcome. He just moved to Floyd. Andrew just moved to Floyd just about a month a month ago, a right? Month. Yeah, yeah. 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 So he's he's over at County Sales. So go pay him a visit over there. You can find Bill and Bells here in County Sales. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. The plan is working. <laughs> All right, we're going to jump into one that we've been doing for a long time. This tune here comes straight out of Johnson City, uh, an old one. It's, it's called The Old Lonesome Blues. One, Thank you. 
some blues. It's lonesome and it's old. And this next one is lonesome and new. <clears throat> this is a brand new song. We've been writing a whole bunch of new music. We're getting ready to cut another record here soon. Not sure when, but soon. Uh, we're really excited about it. All original material. That's kind of what we've been doing all, all kind of end of the winter into spring is just writing a whole bunch of new music. And as I mentioned, this one here is particularly lonesome. So we'll get it here for you. It's called, it's a real uplifting number called, I'll Never Get Along With You. Shining, there you were smiling Memory I won't soon forget You were my dream Oh, so it seems Now that I'm leaving I'd like for you to know Though I still love you And only think of you Life will go on, I suppose You were untrue And now we're through and I'll never get along with you Don't believe the word you tell me You never do the things that you say you do Sweetheart, I'll still love you always Try to understand I just can't be your loving man. Be your loving man. I've done everything that I can do. I'll never get along with you. Can't you see that my heart is breaking from the empty promises? Keep making I'll never get along with you I don't believe the word you tell me You never do the things that you say you'll do Sweetheart, I'll still love you always Try to understand I just can't be your loving man Be your loving man Everything that I can do, I'll never get along with you. A new one. 
We're going to have a music video out for that in just a couple weeks, so, so keep your eyes and your eyes open for that. Uh, we're excited about that. We've been kind of releasing some new singles, so that's going to be our next upcoming single. Now I have an actual uplifting number for you. Yeah, what a relief. Uh, this one here is our Disney hit. This one is going to make us rich and famous in 2036. It's going to be in Toy Story Part 42. It's called Get Up and Give It One More Try. We believe in getting up and giving it one more try. So here's a song about that. Some people would like you to believe It's not worth chasing your dreams Oh, they may doubt you what they don't know about you Is you can do most anything Hold your head up high Don't let them tell you otherwise You're gonna make it if you try and when you stumble, don't ever lose your sight. Get up and give it one more try. Soon you'll be winning, start grinning, cause today your luck is beginning to turn, turn, turn around. Give it your all and stop starving, just listen to your heart when it's calling. You'll be the talk of the town You may fall every now and then But you gotta pick yourself right up again Lordy mama, you gotta kick and shout I know you can do it, so get to it No better time than now to prove it Get up and give it one more try You may fall every now and then, but you gotta pick yourself right up again. Lord, mama, you gotta kick and shout. I know you can do it, so get to it. No better time than now to prove it. Get up and give it one more try. Oh, do it now.
your old photograph You are the sweetest angel in this world I love, love, love you My Carolina sunshine girl The old Carolina sunshine girl that, of course, is an old Jimmy Rogers tune, one of our idols and heroes. Uh, we're going to get Helena and Kalia to sing this next one. New one for us, maybe an old one for some of you. This one here is called Whispering. another one of these new tunes we've been talking about uh, we just put out a single just a few about a month ago and it was this song here this one is a one I wrote when we were on tour in Germany just a little while ago and it's called that'll be just fine by me Just about a quarter to five Wondering if the bus will ever make it How come it never seemed to run on time I'm tired of 
this old city I'm so tired I'm losing my mind Soon as he takes my ticket, Lord, I'm gonna leave it all behind I'm traveling on That'll be just fine by me That'll be just fine by me I mean One thing's for sure You'll never see me no more Out of my life I'm leaving this old city Yeah, I'm leaving just as soon as I can If this bus ever pulls into the station Doubt you'll ever see me again Thank you, friends. Appreciate that. We've got time for about one more tune. But I sort of introduced everybody, but let me do it again. On the fiddle here, this is Kalia Yagel. Back here on the bass, Mr. Andrew Small. You'll be seeing a lot more around these parts. And of course, Helena Hunt here on the banjo. And how about a big hand for Chris Trulson on the guitar? All right, we're gonna try one we just, we just wrote. This is brand new, we haven't performed this or nothing. So look out, let's see what happens. This is another uplifting number. I've been really good at writing these real pick-me-up songs lately. It's not a reflection of my real life, I promise you that. Maybe it is. Uh, let's not get into that right <laughs> <laughs> This one here is called, I'll Never Be Happy Again. Happy, I used to be gay. The sun used to shine down upon me yeah, each day. Yeah, yeah. Now that I'm lonesome and lost in her days, and she's gone. gone. She's gone away. I used to walk tall, I had a skip in my step. Now I am drowning in a sea of yeah, regret. Yeah, yeah. Lost all ambition the day that you left. I wish we never met. Ain't got no sweetheart, ain't got no friends A cracked smile since I don't know when With the kind of shape I'm in Doubt I'll ever be happy again Oh no, I'll never be happy again Pockets are empty, I can't pay the rent Landlord keeps hollering, where have yeah, you been? Yeah, yeah. 
money she lent me, it's all been spent. It seems it just can't win. Got an ache in my heart and an ache in my tooth. Spent most of my days fixing this hole in my shoe. My dog ran away, goddamn doggone blues. What am I supposed to do? I ain't got no sweetheart, ain't got no friend. Since I don't know when with kind of shape I'm in Doubt I'll ever be happy again Oh no, I'll never be happy again All right, thank you everybody trilogy coming up for you. It's called a, uh, do we call it the food trilogy? Food trilogy. The food, food trilogy. trilogy. This, this one is for people who like food. <laughs> Raise your hands if you eat food. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna get Mikey to honk on the bobo on this one. There it is. <laughs> They 
called geography Not famous for its ponies Its mining Norwich stills But they know it as Chetlin cooking And them Cheatham County When it's Chetlin cooking time in Cheatham County I'll be courting in them Cheatham County hills And I'll beg a Cheatham County chitlin' cooker For along with that my mess of chitlin' fills flapjacks and rice Now there's an art in chitlin cooking And all good chitlin cooks They must master it by practice It don't go down in books In the hills of Cheatham County in sunny Tennessee When chitlins are in season That's where I long I think chitlins are the best Yum, yum And when I lay on my dying pillow Let chitlins be my last request When it's chitlin cooking time in Cheatham County I'll be courting in them Cheatham County hills And I'll beg a Cheatham keep with the meat theme <laughs> we're gonna move along well this is, we're still in pork we're still in the still in pork, still in yeah. pork here we're gonna do the ham song it's called country ham and red gravy well, uncle dave making another uncle dave making tune we like him y'all didn't notice we like that guy he's pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, good. 
that cuts your hand. Well, the crowd and people yell when they hear that damn bell. Oh, how that empty smells three miles away. Three miles away. Three miles away. 